Hello, today I'm going to show you my electronic nose implemented using AI and a smart sensor. I'm going to give you a demo now and then I'm going to go through the AI application architecture in more detail later. This particular AI application has a very simple user interface. You can see that the dog is sniffing. That means it has not detected any smell yet. That's logical because I haven't actually plugged in the power for this particular uh, AI electronic nose. Now let us plug in the power. Now it's going to send information to the application and may take a little bit of time before everything goes steady state and then it detects the smell. Now it detected that it is air. Now let me put it into a jar of uh, ground coffee and see what happens. I just want to cover this so that uh, it does, well, the smell does not diffuse to the atmosphere. It may take a little bit of time maybe up to 20 seconds. Now it detected a change in smell, but it doesn't know what it is yet. Now, it detected that it is coffee. Now, let me open up this thing here. This is a jar containing alcohol. I tried to uh, persuade my manager to give me the money to uh, purchase a bottle of 18-year-old uh, Yamasaki single malt whiskey for testing, but he refused, so I have to use just rubbing alcohol for that purpose. Now, now let me put this in the alcohol and take this away. Let's, let's wait. It detected a change. Now it detected alcohol. Alright, let me take it out again. fresh air. So this is the demo. So next I'm going to go through the architecture with you. Please note that I was just using a simple use case to illustrate what it takes to build an Enos. There are many practical use cases for it. Here is a small sample. Foot spotage detection. Supermarkets can use this technology to detect fresh produces that are starting to get lot of fresh and put them in specials for a quick sale. Next, we have a combustible, flammable, toxic gas detection. For, for example, you can detect such things in chemical plants and in mimes as in mining. Then we have environmental monitoring. For example, you can monitor oil leaks groundwater odors, household odors, air quality, and forest fire. Next, we have medical diagnosis and health monitoring. For example, you can use an e-nose to detect respiratory disease such as pneumonia and cancer because for these patients, there's a special odor in their breath. And you can also use this technology to detect urinary tract infection because usually they are blood in the urine samples. Now 
you've seen the demo. Let me tell you more about the project. First of all, the Enos hardware. The hardware consists of the Bosch BME688 evaluation kit. With an array of eight temperature, pressure, humidity, and gas sensors. That is the board at the top. Next, we have the Adafruit ASP32 Feather board, which is the microcontroller, which you can see only partially here at the bottom. It provides the uh, CPU power to drive the sensors board. Next, I'm going to talk about the Enos application architecture. The centerpiece of infrastructure here is the MQTT server. Everything relies on the MQTT server to work. On the left hand side, I have the BME688 evaluation kit. I programmed it using the Arduino IDE. It sends sensor data in JSON format in FV3 seconds to the MQTT server sensor data topic. In order to train my Jupyter Notebook, I need to have training data. And the training data was collected using the data collector, which is simply a shell script, which subscribes to the sensor data topic and save the data for uh, air, alcohol, and coffee. Once the data files are there for air, alcohol, and coffee, I can use the Jupyter Notebook to train the AI model. The trained AI model was ex exported as pickled files. Next, I have a Python Flask application that uses the trained model to implement a REST API, which accepts sensor data and returns a prediction on whether the smell is air, alcohol, or coffee. Next, I have another Python Flask application, the AI application, which we saw in the demo. It subscribes to the sensor data topic to receive the sensor data, and then it uses the data to call the REST API to see what smell it returns. It implements thresholding and a voting system such that uh, a single change does not change the prediction immediately. When it detects that there is a change, it notifies the UI to switch to another animated GIF file, which you have seen in the demo itself. The application UI is very simple. All it does is display animated GIF files. When the Enos is not sure what smell it is, it will display this uh, sniffing dog animated GIF. When it knows that it's air, then it displays this fresh air uh, GIF file. And when it's alcohol, it displays the wine glass and the uh, a bottle of wine. And when it's coffee, it displays the uh, coffee beans and a cup of uh, cappuccino, yum. You can go to my GitHub repository and click on the uh, Jupyter Notebook. GitHub will run all the cells in the uh, Jupyter Notebook. And you will see a couple of interesting uh, graphs. First of all, the confusion matrix. The first thing that came to mind when I saw this is, uh, well, was I overfitting the data, the model? Right, so it couldn't be that, that accurate. And then I saw this uh, classification boundaries diagram. You can see that all the data points don't overlap. And maybe that explains why it was so accurate, at least for the uh, uh, test data. But you also have seen it in the demo. In real life, it's uh, still pretty accurate. I have containerized all Python Flask applications and pushed their container images to the Quay.io repository. 
You can now just run the container images on Podman, Microshift, or OpenShift. You can run the Jupyter Notebook using Red Hat OpenShift Data Science running on OpenShift or any Jupyter Notebook environments of your choosing. All documentation, including the architecture, Jupyter Notebooks, training data, scripts, and source code can be found in my GitHub repository here. So thank you for watching. Stay safe.